this video we will see like uh, how to uh, use rtms software to generate computed file and export it from the uh, rtms software from three different tools uh, the new build 11.3.2 uh, computed export 5337.901 with 29 gen dated is uh, includes the uh, computed uh, export feature this install do not require to uninstall 11.3 to the current RC or current release version. This is the independent one. So I, once you install the software, uh, you you will see the display version data like uh, 37.9.1. Our normal RCs, if you notice, it is like 17 the current release. So you will be seeing 900 series means there is this is a, a different build version. So let. Let, let's see like how we can generate the harmonic the first test i'm going to do using the home screen pre fall fall test so i set pre fault like uh, one amps balance and balance uh, phase angle and 69 voltage balance and uh, balance phase angle the fault i set like 2 amps and uh, uh, fault voltage is like 15 voltage balance and uh, like uh, max time, test time is like maybe one second so if I run the pre fall fall test, I, I'm running in the simulation mode. So like it, you, you can see the one one second after the fault, it, it stops immediately. So once the test is done, I go back to the test settings. Click on this new icon. This is included in the this particular build only. So the current releases do not have. So this allows user to export the concrete file from the test screen. So you click on it, you say like uh, uh, it allow user to save as a completed file format. So I, I give like a, a, a file name like CFG. Test one, 29 chime. So I want to label this as a default default test one. So once the uh, test is exported, actually, you you go to the tools and comtrade screen, click on the comtrade and uh, use the open comtrade file option and find your file location. In this case, in the download folder for me, click on the, the file you exported from the uh, uh, RTMS earlier and click open. It automatically load your test files. It's all load in the RMS format. You remember like comtrade files defined in the RMS format. If you want to define the binary input or output you can click this option digital selection and you want to view the waveform like a click change to waveform view uh, you can see here like uh, uh, the pre fault fault it is uh, i believe in the pre fault i forgot to define the fault time uh, in the previous test that's why it shows only the uh, fault fault duration of one second let me go back to the home screen and see pre fault yes it's correct so let me set pre fall two second and fall to like a uh, fall time i i make as a, a like infinity so we can see the fall rate is injecting or not so i press play here now pre fall will inject for two seconds then after pre fall it inject for fault continuously i'm giving simulate conduct so the test we ran with pre fall and fault now i go this screen press com trade export option click on this button then I, I say like test 2 then export save the file uh, close on this window go to the tools menu and select the com trait uh, click on the open com trait file option uh, find your file location and open the cfg file then it, it generate the waveform automatically you can view the waveform so now you can see here it's like uh, clicking on here it, it is expo expanding the waveforms so like pre fault it ran for like 69 voltage uh, in this case it's rms it displays and the uh, pre fault and the fault is around 15 voltage the current is like um, uh, the the pre fault once one amps and the fault is uh, two amps after two seconds you can notice the the complete uh, fault play so once this values are imported here it is an it's a normal operation of the complete you click play button then it will send it to the test set and uh, run the test the scenario to how where we can export the comp trait is using the sequencer uh, tool 
so I click on the tool list and select the sequencer uh, by default Artemis opens with the seven uh, states for recloser testing so in this case I don't want to change anything just want to run I select the channels on the pre-fall like current and voltage channels and the fall state let let me leave the current and voltage value maybe voltage I reduce to 15 voltage then uh, state 3 it's a reclose no current injected and state 4 like um, uh, 15 15 amps and uh, like maybe like 10 voltage so you can see uh, state 5 no current and state 6 the trip maybe like 20 voltage so state 7 is end of state so now we have all the state defined when you connected with the test set we send the, all the command state commands in the queuing order to the test set and it executes so here also it runs but it's not effective in the simulation mode but still we run the test in the background so you can see all the seven state complete once the all the state complete you can see here the computed export icon you click this one now you uh, you can save the file in your location i say like a, test 3 uh, CFG but it is like um, uh, sequencer so once our you exported the com trade file go to the home screen select the test list and pick the com trade option it's the same procedure uh, open the com trade file and uh, select the sequence the exported com trade file open that file uh, go to the com waveform viewer then you can see here now all the seven states are exported like uh, you can expand and see like uh, the different states or you can go back 100 percentage and you want to see some other state or like you can take a cursor between the two uh, two places and uh, uh, two locations and uh, and see the waveforms and uh, you can expand that that particular part so whatever you play with the complete screen you can see the values so this is the second uh, way of uh, exporting the complete files the third option here how to export the complete using the click on default right we also implemented the export feature in the click on default so uh, you you pick one relay like in this case I am going to pick ABB relay rel 670 uh, and click OK it will normally in first time it will take you to this page uh, remember the com trade export option only implemented in the uh, short test screen not on the uh, search test so please remember to pick a short test and maybe you can pick either two second apply time or the fall time if i disable this icon the the fault will be injected as for the fall time settings so i click ok here uh, go to the complete screen like let me delete uh, the point and uh, I'm going to add some test points maybe in the zone one somewhere here and run the test actually run the test like and and pre-fall and fall so once test is runs like test runs you can click on this icon you can see export com trade I click export com trade and uh, like uh, I say I say like uh, uh, click on the CFG and like click on default uh, test four maybe five in this case so once completed export is done go back to the um, home screen select the tools list and basically that is a test list click on the completed and then click on the open completed file option and import the click on the file open it and go to the waveform view then you can see the like uh, uh, we were trying for the AB fault in that case. Actually, you can see the uh, pre fault injected three phase and the fault values like uh, it is injected like AB fault and uh, the fault current is AB fault at 180 degree. So we are recorded the values correctly. This particular portion is the post fault. Uh, like if you guys remember in uh, RTMS, there is a post fault setting in the timer configuration screen. Probably it is set 200 millisecond, I believe. So it is injecting 200 millisecond. So once you have, once you have this um, com trade file is exported uh, and you can import, you can play it as normal file. So we have seen the three options and also the one special condition here, special feature we have is like a com trade export with a harmonic waveform. 
So let's try one thing with the harmonic. In the home screen, click on this double arrow and advanced option. You can see the pre-fall, the harmonic waveform selection. What I'm going to do, pre-fall is one amps like it's nominal and the fall page, I want to inject the harmonic. So the fundamental frequency, I inject two amps and I want to, I want to set the second harmonic waveform like a, a 20 percentage. That's like a, a 0.4 amps here. I set 0.4 amps here and the voltage is like maybe 69 voltage. It is required. It, it's up to you, the user, to pick it. So once the value is selected, you press play and it will run for some time pre-fall. After pre-fall, it will run fall. You stop the a timer and again click the test settings and export the comp trade. So I, I will say like uh, CFG, this is pre-fall fault with harmonics and uh, test six in this case. Okay, so once you exported the comp trade file, again, uh, go to the tools menu and click on the comp trade and uh, uh, use the open comp trade file option import the comp trade harmonic file so it, it imported the harmonic so you can see the waveform actually like in the uh, we we set the fault value with the harmonic right so you can see the waveform okay so there is no harmonic supply so something we did wrong um, there is no harmonic still it is fundamental so what is the wrong i did i go back here and see pre-fall fault it shows harmonic but it's there is no harmonic probably i forgot to set the frequency click on advance and go to the second harmonic obviously i'm still injecting the fundamental harmon value because of the 160 hertz so i'm going to set 120 hertz save this one like press play now now it is inject it will inject with the uh, pre-fall and fault including the harmonic waveform simulate the conduct so the test is done then i go to the test options like select the complete export now i select the cfc7 test 7 so like uh, click ok here and uh, it is exported the comp trade values and uh, go to the uh, comp trade icon import the comp trade file 7 open so now it is imported the harm waveform with the harmonics so now you can see here the waveforms looks different so you can see here that the, the first portion like you see here uh, the A phase, B phase, C phase so so there is a one challenge now the harmonic the output generated by the uh, comp trade file and everything is harmonic uh, correctly calculated but how we test it actually so I do have generated one uh, Excel sheet actually to simulate similar to that so if you see this waveform it is exactly the, the power RTMS waveform and uh, like this uh, this Excel sheet waveform it it looks exactly same uh, so that way like uh, the mathematical application used in the RTMS is kind of match with our fundamental so what what how, I will tell in different videos how we I generated this one so like um, uh, the max current for fundamental is 2 amps and 60 gates and the harmonic max is like 0.4 uh, amps that is like 20 10 plus 20 percentage and the second harmonic value is 120 hertz so based on this in you re recall we put the same values in the uh, power db file okay in the rtms file so so that's the reason that the comp trade file it, it, it matches like uh, our comp trade file matches actual waveform generated this is this it's actually i saw combined waveform but if you see in the background this is generated each page, each phase, harmonics, uh, uh, fundamental frequency. So all the waveforms are there. Uh, this, this I will put the separate video how to generate this waveform. So this is actually true output. It is there. But uh, to testing purpose, we will see only like uh, our our combined waveform for A phase and B phase and C phase. So that's how we will uh, we will see clarity of the waveform. So this is the three phase waveform it matches exactly the way we expected so it, it sounds like we are matching the data i hope this helps you guys actually